Hey everybody! Hello, I'm Kim. And I'm Erin, and we are k &E RVTV. And today we're here at our Harvest Host mm -hmm. in Virginia. Mm -hmm. Where are we at? We are at Stonebridge Equestrian Center. It's a horse farm. A horse farm. It's gorgeous. So cool. We're in the Shenandoah Valley mm -hmm. in the mountains. It is fall. The trees are beautiful. Look at this view, y'all. Not too shabby. Spin around, <laughs> spin around. And there's horses behind us. Yeah. I don't know if you can see any at this moment. Yeah. But it's a super cool spot. It's beautiful. Everywhere you look, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, we checked in with Rob, who is, um, this is his harvest house here. Mm -hmm. And super nice. Mm -hmm. Helped us pull in, got us set up. We got, you know, ready to a roll nice with the level minutes. spot, too. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. All right, check this place out with us, y'all. Let's do it. We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. K&E RVTV, K&E RVTV, sing it with us. K&E RVTV. All the horses are running back there. But look at this view. This is our home for the night. This is pretty nuts. What? I'm zoomed in. <laughs> I'm zoomed in on the horses. Lucy's parked right here. Right next to the barn. And we're nice and level, which is great. Yeah. Like going in and being level is like a nice gift. level spot here. It was rainy when we first got here, but it has cleared up a lot. Yeah. You see all the mountains. It looked here. cool though. It was like a little foggy. It looked like a little like spooky. We're in the Shenandoah Valley here. We're actually by the natural bridge. It's only like nine miles away, so maybe tomorrow morning yeah. we might we'll be able to check that out. We'll see if we have time. Uh -huh. Yeah, when we got here, it was raining and it's been raining until it just stopped recently. Mm -hmm. So, we want to be able to enjoy the spot while we. What are you drinking? Here. Oh, this is one of the um, beers we got at our. The brewery, Thick and Thin Brewery in Maryland. In huh? Maryland, okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm already losing track of the, the cities that we've been. But yeah, delicious. It's a Hefenweizen, and I love the. Um, what is it, like a night? Yeah. It's really good, and it's 5.2. But yeah. Um, Cracking it open here in Virginia. This is yeah, there's um, oh, we actually um, have electricity here, mm -hmm. which is a plus. He has a 50 amp plug here for RV, so we have an adapter because our RV is 30 amp, mm -hmm. so it adapts it from the 50 to 30 amp. It's just, and that's going to be our way of patroning this business yes. because there's nothing to buy here. So we'll pay for some electricity. <laughs> we need it. It's been a few days now. We yeah. haven't been plugged in. Yeah. So we're, we have everything um, charging. charging right now. <laughs> and then ju ju juicy. Lucy's getting some juice in her battery uh -huh. as well, her house batteries. So yeah, I mean, when win here. We're spoiled at this point. So this is where we're plugged in right here. This is the horse barn right here. If you see these doors, the horses stick their heads out of those little windows. Cody already met a horse yeah. when we first got here. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, he, the dogs. Well, not Zach. It was just Cody and Rob. Cody found the horsey. Yeah. Wow, what is that? <laughs> What's that coat? You say hi? Oh, <laughs> this is your first time meeting a horse. <laughs> it's super cute. I did post it on um, Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. If you want to go check out our socials, you can see it. It was the cutest freaking thing. I've never seen a horse before. <laughs> not up that I close. Still, I'm not sure if he understands what he is, but it was super cute. Uh huh. Just the horse was sticking his head out through the window. Yeah. Uh, but this is a nice, beautiful, beautiful spot. Yeah, I think he did say that there's going to be another Harvest Host RV coming in here. Yeah, tonight. Let's, let's Parking right here probably while we're standing. So maybe we'll make sense. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, it's super quiet, super chill. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's just Digging it. beautiful. Even when it was raining earlier, looking outside, it was still, it was just so pretty. Like, you can still, still see the green grass and the horses were in the barn. He um, just let them out. He has, I think mm -hmm. it's three here right now. Mm -hmm. On his property. You can see them there out over there yeah, grazing. The first, the first big corral right Yeah, there. and then there's another horse farm right next door too, so there's more horses over there. Yeah. I wonder if they'd like chat with each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they make friends with each other. But this is it's just beautiful. last night we were at a winery. It was amazing. Make sure you if you have We were at a vineyard. Video, a vineyard, sorry. Make sure you check that video out. It was incredible. But I mean we've had a beautiful view almost every night. Besides, we did stay at a truck stop. 
one night. That was so fun. It was interesting. It was an experience. Uh -huh. We had some delicious Arby's for dinner. It was free. And it was free. So we can't complain about that. It was just a little but, loud, but we didn't get no harassment from truckers or not anything at all. They like were that. Very, didn't even uh, act like we were there, which uh -huh. was perfect. But yeah, every other, all the other Harvest Hosts we stayed have been pretty, pretty, pretty cool. All right, cheers, y'all. Thanks for watching. Is this not the coolest thing, Aaron? Look at this. It's like still in the process of raining. It started raining again, but look at this whole rainbow all the way over to here. Oh, it's a double rainbow. Can you see it? There's two. <gasps> wow. The sun is shining from behind me. <gasps> Look at the horses. They all oh, is rolling. The horse is rolling in the ground, Aaron. Can you see the horsey? <gasps> they were out there in the rain. They didn't mind at all. Now he's rolling in the wet grass. <gasps> this is so cool. Wow. This is amazing, y'all. This is so cool to see right now. Getting to see these fall colors with the rainbow. What? So, so cool. <laughs> what do you think? Do you guys love it here? You love it here so much? Yeah, you like the horsies? You've been such good boys. Oh, yes you have. Oh yes you have. Look at the sun finally came out today. Shining on all these beautiful fall colored trees with the rainbow still. So beautiful. We're just standing out here, taking it all in. Aaron's gonna start cooking us some dinner soon. Yeah, this place is pretty special. Good morning. Good morning. We really enjoyed our night last night. Mm -hmm. I made some chili. We watched some TV mm -hmm. and enjoyed having electricity and being plugged in. Wicked Link. Yeah, we were watching Wicked Link all night. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was a really beautiful night. It's Slept chilly. Really comfortably. It's, it's really, windy. really windy and really chilly. Yeah, but we're headed to the Natural Bridge. Mm hmm. Super excited. Super excited. This is something we wanted to do originally on our trip up here mm -hmm. from Tennessee. And now we're gonna do it. It's so. only like nine minutes away. Yeah. All right, so let's go check it out. So we're back on the road. We wanted to film a little bit more at the farm we were just at after um, we got back from the natural bridge, but the person coming in for harvest host was already there, so they needed us out of our spot. So unfortunately, I wanted to show you guys more of the horses in the barn, but I didn't get to do that, but. Back on the road, Cody. You ready to go? Zachary is behind me here, just relaxing. They did good while we were visiting the natural bridge. We were hooked at the power, so they had AC and TV and everything they needed to be comfortable. But back on the road, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. We um, actually were able to take showers last night so our tanks are full a great tank full of our shower and sink water we did all our dishes as well so we're gonna try to attempt to go to a dump station and there's one at camping world right off the highway in about like a half an hour so we're gonna try and go there and dump our black tank and our gray tank and hopefully fill our freshwater tank so we're good to go for a few more harvest host nights we, our next stop we're on our way to is a museum. So we're excited about that. And yeah, hopefully everything goes well. We're gonna be passing through Christianburg, Virginia, which is where we broke down at. Our transmission went in May. So it's a little, it's a little uh, touchy subject for us. So we went to Camping World and we dumped our tanks at their dump station. While I was doing that, Aaron made me a sandwich because I'm starving after that hike today at Natural Bridge. And now we're sitting in traffic. Yay for traffic. Uh, first time on our trip that we've hit traffic. Supposedly there's a lane closed. So 
everyone's merging into one lane, but perfect time for me to eat my sandwich. <laughs> we made it to our spot. We're exhausted. exhausted We've had a very long day. Today was a, a long, rough one. <laughs> uh -huh. As soon as we woke up, we got ready, did the natural bridge, had to rush home, get out of our spot really quick. Got on the road, we stopped and dumped, hit traffic, and then we got here. Yeah. And it's not this oh, it's not level. What is this all. museum called? So this is the Wilderness Road Regional Museum. It's in Dublin, Virginia. We're in Dublin, Aaron. And we always wanted to go to Dublin, <laughs> Ireland, that is. They do offer tours, but they're only until 4:30, and uh -huh. because we did sit in traffic this afternoon, we didn't really make it in time for that. And it took us a while to try to get as level as we could, and mm -hmm. we are not level at all. But the fridge is on right now, so I'm hoping we'll be okay for the night. This is one thing that matters for us: our propane heats, uh, heats, yeah. gets, keeps our fridge cold. cold. But I and mean, the views are food. beautiful. But we hopped into their gift shop real quick. Before they closed, yeah. And Aaron got us this local oh, honey. honey. And they have little honey hives. Look at this. This is massive. They have beehives. Beehives. Right out here. And they make it. Yeah, so that was our contribution for staying here. Yeah. I can, you can probably see a little bit. We're inside right now. But this is the museum. And yeah, it's this big grassy field behind us. So we're the only ones here. Yeah. So it's, it's like really quiet. We got the area. windows open. Anyways, we tasted the honey and it was really, really good. Yeah, it's got like a so nice citrus, excited about it. So right now we're gonna have a little snack. What you got for us, Erin? Some cheese. This is our favorite Vermont cheese. So and it's already so sliced, good. so it's easy peasy. Yeah. And some garlic butter ritz. And we're watching Little Mermaid again. And I'm gonna top it with some honey. Some honey. Okay. Yeah, we have our iPad going watching the Little Mermaid. Thank you. This is Cody's sleeping situation right here. He's been enjoying this um, bed here that he's had as his co-pilot his, his co seat, but we've been reclining the, the seat back for him rather than having it up more, and it gives him so much more room. He seems more comfortable. He's way more comfortable, you know, when we're driving. So I think that might be... And they're fighting over the seat. Constantly yeah. I have to deal with Zach and Cody fighting okay. together over the seat. Most of the time they're in it together, smushed in it, somehow both uncomfortable. There's some siren going off. It's crazy. <laughs> it's a really beautiful spot, mm -hmm. and I mean, just make sure if you're if you're thinking about this location, make sure you have some leveling blocks. I wish I had yeah. more. Yeah, I it's, use all that we have. And it's it's like just unlevel. just big field, and it's completely hilly and unlevel everywhere. There's like not one good spot anywhere. Can you hear this alarm? Is that a tornado alarm? I don't know. It's really loud. Wow, well, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think we need to figure it out. There's not even any bad weather or anything. It's been windy. Oh, it was so windy here in the drive. The wind was throwing the RV I all over the road. Do you know me? So I, I would kept having to like break because it was like throwing me everywhere. Yes, Worse I'm than the semi you. trucks do. I'm behind you and I saw. Yeah. I was like, holy moly. But the drive was beautiful anywhere along Highway 81 through Virginia. Especially in the fall. So pretty. Gore. It feels yes. like because we did this drive up, that's when we left at the beginning of May uh -huh. when we headed up to um, New England where we just spent the summer. And it feels like such a different drive because it's so pretty. Yeah. Just so pretty. Everywhere I'm like, oh my god, it's so pretty here. And the next place I go, oh my god, it's We're so, so pretty. prettier. Uh -huh. I couldn't even tell you. I remember Vermont had some really special uh -huh. spots that we drove through that I was yeah. going to get my phone out or, you know, whatever. Yeah, but it's... it was really, really beautiful. But Virginia has been pretty. Maryland, too. We only drove through a little bit, but uh -huh. there was, we had saw so much red in Maryland. It was mm -hmm. really, really pretty. But it's a great time to be road tripping during this the This is literally the best time to do this. We picked, well, we didn't even pick it. It just ended up happening yeah. this way. And it's worked out to be the best. Yeah. You're blurry. So, yeah. This is the perfect time of year to road trip to be able to boondock like this. We have zero electricity, zero AC. It's in the 50s right now. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. We got all the windows open. Yeah. And yeah, it's really the, the time of year that it's tolerable, you know, like mm -hmm. you're comfortable because you can always put more clothes on, use a blanket, but when it's mm -hmm. hot, you can only get so cool without, yeah. you know, power to have a fan or to have AC or you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Keep food cold. So it's definitely that this is the time of year to do it. And it, so it just happened that this is when we could do it. <laughs> and Harvest Host has really made it possible. So yeah, we definitely so far 10 out of 10 for Harvest Host recommendation. Oh, sure. For sure. What do you think of the honey? It's delicious. It's really good. It's really good with this cheese too. Put uh. it on the cheese and the cracker. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. 
Local honey is good for like allergies and mm -hmm. stuff like that too, right? Good morning. Good morning from the Wilderness Run. Wilderness Regional Road. Road. Regional Museum. Yeah, that one. In Dublin, Virginia. Mm -hmm. We had a nice night. We just relaxed, ate mm -hmm. some leftover chili, watched Haunted Mansion on the iPad, and slept pretty well. Aaron said chili is not a good road trip food. It's not. We, we can't leave yet because I've had to go to the bathroom 55 times. Sorry if that's TMI, but I don't suggest eating chili on the road. <laughs> oh, it was really good though. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're hitting the road and we're going to our next Harvest Host location, which is called the Funny Farm. They have a lot of different animals, so I'm hoping today we get to interact with them. Any of the Harvest Hosts that have animals, I'm like, yes please. Yes please. Yes. That's like the, the thing that gets us. Yeah. <laughs> I love animals and I want to pet and feed every single one of them. And we don't know a lot about this one. There was only a couple of reviews on Harvest Hosts, mm -hmm. so we don't know a lot of information, but and we know they're open one to six today. And it's in Tennessee. It's in Tennessee. We're going to get to Tennessee today. And we, we made reservations yep. for Pigeon Forge. Mm -hmm. For, nice. for a few days, we were trying to find a weekly rate. This is like the busiest time of year almost with the fall leaves going on there. It was hard to get a reservation, but we didn't want to book it ahead of time because we didn't know exactly what dates exactly. we would get there. We wanted to take our time traveling down. And not have issues so, like we did when we first came up here and had to cancel everything. So mm -hmm. we've kind of just been playing it by ear. Mm -hmm. But we just made reservations this morning mm -hmm. for four days. Who knows if we'll stay longer than that, but mm -hmm. we're definitely there for at least four days <laughs> in the Smoky Mountains, baby. We're excited, but we're here on the road now. And we'll start the next video at the Funny Farm, I guess. Yeah. Maybe. All right. We appreciate y'all watching. And if you enjoyed this video, hit your like button. If you're new to our channel, you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. And we will see you in the next episode. Oh, I want to show you Lucy. 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 This is where she was parked all night. This was completely unlevel at yeah. this museum. Don't recommend it unless you have to. And I can see our beautifully clean roof that you washed for us. It looks amazing. Thanks. Okay. Bye, y'all.